Hi, I'm Judy from Fox City's Quilt Company, and this is Sunday from the Sewing Room, where we give you tips, tricks, and a few tutorials to help you with your sewing and quilting projects. If you like our videos, please share them and hit that subscribe button below. So you know how they say necessity is the mother of invention? Well, it really, really is because I was traveling recently and I have my AirPods Pro, which you can see I have in my ear. And um, I listen to them when I'm traveling with my iPad or with my phone for a book or whatever it is. Sometimes it's a movie if I have a long trip. And so I didn't have any place really good to uh, keep my AirPods. Um, I, I put them in a case and they fell to the bottom and it was difficult to get them out and I wanted them easily accessible. So I made this cute little AirPods case and I even put a little hole in the bottom so that I could charge them inside this case if I wanted to. I used, I had scraps and that's all I used on here was scraps for this little thing. And let me show you that um, I even had scrap zipper. Um, this is a number three zipper from Sally Tomato. This is a Sally Tomato swivel hook, which I had left over from a project. And um, I can just drop my AirPods right in here and I can zip them up and there is the hole to charge them. So it was pretty simple and now I can hang these really off of anything. And I wanna show you how I made them. So everything I used for this project, I used scraps. And let me tell you what I used. I have a five by five inch square of fabric for the outside of my little case. And you can use a charm square if you want, obviously. And then I have a five inch by five inch square for the lining of my case. I have a five inch by five inch square of Annie's Soft and Stable. I have a two and a quarter by at least 20 inches um, of some coordinating fabric. Uh, and this is going to be the binding and it's going to be uh, for my zipper. Um, so again, this is two and a quarter inches by at least 20 inches. And then I have a uh, one inch by, let me tell you how big that is, one inch by six inch piece of an, another piece of coordinating fabric. And this will be for my hanging loop for my swivel hook. And you do need a swivel hook, and here it is. And this is a swivel hook with a half inch opening. And then I am also using a number three uh, zipper from Ta Sally Tomatoes. It's just a little smaller teeth because this project is so tiny. And I have eight inches here. And you're going to want to have at least eight inches. And again, I had this left over in my stash. And this, again, this is for the project for my iPod Pro case. The first thing I want to do is I am going to mark my soft and stable. And I'm going to mark my soft and stable because what I want to do is I want to create a hole at the bottom of the case so that I can charge my iPods or AirPods without uh, taking them out of the case if I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it, because it's square, it doesn't matter, um, I'm just going to mark it one and a half inches up from one side. And this side will end up being the bottom of my case. And I am using a friction pen because if I make a mistake, I can just iron it away. So that is one and a half inches up from the bottom. And then I need to find the exact center. So I am going to mark this at two and a half inches. And I know it's two and a half inches because my square is five inches. And then I want to mark an opening that is at least a quarter inch on one side of that first one and a half inch line and I'm just going to go ahead and make that big and then I wanted a quarter inch on this side and again you if you make a mistake all you have to do is just um, go ahead and iron it off and start again so I do want to make this line a little longer but I want to make sure that I have a nice uh, square and then I am going to mark a half inch on this side. So this is going to end up being one inch by one and a half inches. 
or one inch by a half inch, excuse me. And then I want to go a half inch on this side, just like this. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take my soft and stable. I'm going to put my fabric, outer fabric down, face down, and I am going, let me start that again. I'm going to put my lining fabric face up. I am going to put my outer fabric face down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my soft and stable right on top of that. And if you want to, and I recommend it, go ahead and clip that all the way around. And what we're going to do now is we are going to end up stitching all the way around this square and we're going to cut a hole so that we can pull that lining fabric through that hole. Um, you could make it smaller, but it would make it almost impossible to turn it because the hole is so small. So again, I wanna make sure everything is lined up nicely. Okay, let me go ahead and Get that and I've got this clipped all the way around and so now I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I am going to stitch all the way around that hole and I will be back to show you what that looks like all right so I have that all stitched together so I want you to see that I use some really teeny tiny stitches there and this is what it looks like on the other side okay so again this was right sides together my lining my top and my soft and stable. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and unclip this because what I need to do now is I need to cut right along this line and you want to be very careful not to cut your stitching. And then I am also going to cut into points. And in order to make sure that I do that straight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mark a diagonal line right there to the center and there. And the reason I don't mark more lines when I am sewing is because I don't want to confuse my lines. And I'm going to mark to there and then I am going to mark to there. Okay, so in order to get this started, I am going to use my rotary cutter and just make a start a hole right there, okay? So that should go through all of the layers, which it did. And then I'm going to take my super, super sharp scissors and I am going to go ahead and finish that cut and I am going to cut on the diagonal right there, and again, right across there. And I'm gonna do that to all four corners, making very sure that I don't clip my stitches. I'm getting really close, but I'm not at my stitches. And then to reduce the bulk, I'm gonna cut away this soft and stable with my super sharp scissors, just like this. And this way. And on all four sides. I still have my fabric under there, but I'm just cutting away the soft and stable. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to carefully pull my fabric through that hole onto the other side so that I make a nice edge. I'm just going to pull that lining through there. Can you see that? It's coming through. And you can see what I mean. If I had done this any smaller, it would have been next to impossible to pull that through. You can do it smaller if you want. 
And then I'm going to go to my iron and I'm going to press this nice and flat. So you can see when I fold this up, when I get my uh, iPods in here and I fold this up, I will be able to charge my iPod or my AirPod my AirPods, I keep calling it my iPod, my AirPods right through this case. So let me go and iron that. Um, I'm gonna iron it nice and flat, and then I'm also going to put a stitch all the way around this, about an eighth of an inch away. And I'll show you what that looks like when I come back. So I have stitched all the way around that opening, and as you can see, I used some really tiny stitches. I believe my uh, setting was at 1.4 millimeters. So now the other things that I want to get ready is I'm going to get ready to put my zipper in, and so I'm going to be putting um, a binding here, and then I am also going to uh, be making my uh, my tab for my swivel hook. And I made a mistake when I first started telling you what you would need. I said a one inch by at least a five or six inch, and it's actually a two inch. So I've corrected that. This should be two inch for your hanging tab. And so what I'm gonna do is to get this ready is I'm going to fold this over once and press. You could take this to your iron and do that. And then I will press it again to the center and again to the center and then back over. So that will be your uh, tag or your hanging tag for your uh, swivel hook. So let me get that pressed. And then we will also be taking this to our iron and we are going to fold this right sides together to make a binding. And I will show you what that looks like when I return. So I have each side of that hanging tab for the swivel hook. And so I'm gonna go ahead and fish that through. And it's all sewn together. And this is going to be hanging off my um, case so that I can hook it onto anything I want. And I'm gonna go ahead, fish that through the swivel hook. And I'm going to put a clip on that and I'm gonna go and set that aside because we'll need that in a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take my little case here and I want to put um, a binding on each side. So on the back side, we're gonna bind from the back. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna eyeball this. So I have it hanging off each edge and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off. And you wanna be at least an inch away and we'll trim this all up later. So there's one side and then here is the other side. And it doesn't have to be exact, so you can see that this is hanging over. So what I'm gonna go do is I am going to go to my sewing machine and with a quarter inch seam allowance, I'm going to sew this binding on each side of my little case. So I have sewn now my binding on two sides of my AirPod case and with a quarter inch seam allowance. And then what we're going to do is just fold this over and we will stitch it down right on the very edge. And I've already done that on this side. So you'll repeat it on the other side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your zipper tape and we're just gonna go ahead and open that and we're gonna pull it apart. And what we're gonna do now is we'll center this up and just, you want your zipper tape to be showing generously and you're gonna edge stitch along here to put that zipper right in place. And you will do that on both sides. So I have my zipper tape sewn on each side of this little case. And as you can see, the teeth are out and up. And again, the teeth are out and up on this side. You don't want this side showing. You want this side up. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this together and see how tiny this is. It's kind of cute, right? And I'm going to go ahead and put, let's see if I can struggle to do this, put this um, zipper pull back on here.
And let me see if I can get this. If you, and if that you can see it, it's really small. So, and it's, it's uh, gonna be nice, but the smaller zipper, it's a little more difficult to work with, but it's nice that it's a smaller zipper. And let me make sure that I can pull that down and see how that pulled down and you got that all set, okay? Now you want to carefully turn this thing um, wrong side out. And I'm gonna just keep turning that until the zipper tape is on the inside now. Okay, and this is going to be on the inside as well. And what I want to do now is I want to make sure two things. I'm going to add my little, uh, uh, my little, oh my gosh, I, my words are escaping me. I'm going to add my little hang tag for my swivel hook. And I'm going to go ahead and just lay that in here. And I want to make sure that I get it in there good. If you want to, you can go ahead and base that. And I am going to go ahead and base this all the way across here. And you can uh, clip that in there too. And I'm going to base this side down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut off our zipper tape even. So again, I'm going to pull this. Actually, I'm going to pull this out a little bit. See how that's out a little bit, and then line it up with my zipper teeth. And then that's how I'm going to base this down so that I can make sure that it's really in there really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip here. And I'm going to clip here. And I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. You wanna make sure that that looks nice and even and that all of your layers are laying nicely. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip. Now make sure that you're gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance and go back and forth across that zipper tape good two or three times, okay? So I'm going to uh, go to my sewing machine and do that. Again, you can see that the edge of my hanging uh, swivel hook is off the edge. So here is my case now. I sewed back and forth across my zipper teeth several times. And you can see I sewed back and forth there across there several times. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut my zipper tape off even with my case and I'm just going to grab my rotary blade here and I'm going to cut and I'm going to cut here as well so there you have it and now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another binding so that I don't have raw edges on the inside. If you don't care about having raw edges on the inside, you don't have to do this step, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make sure I'm off at least a half inch on each side, and I'm just gonna eyeball this. Make sure that you line up the raw edges with the raw edges. I almost did this backwards. Just gonna eyeball this. And the same here about a half inch off each side at least. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and clip this because what I wanna show you is when I go ahead and stitch this, I'm gonna stitch this on one side and then when I get to the other side, I'm just gonna fold this in and stitch over again. So let me show you that again. So I'm just gonna fold this in and, and then fold it over again and stitch that down. So I will go to my sewing machine and, and get that sewn on and show you what it looks like when I come back. Okay, I have my inside binding on, so all it is doing is covering those raw edges. Go ahead and I'm gonna clip all my little threads. And I just wanted to show you, it's not perfect in here. It doesn't have to be. If somebody is looking inside your little 
AirPods case and criticizing that that is sticking out, um, you don't want to, I don't know if you want to be their friend. I'm kidding, of course. And then make sure that your zipper is all the way open. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this right side out. And it's going to be so cute. And there is my hanging tag for my swivel hook. And I'm going to go ahead and push those corners out. And more corners. It's really cute. And that lined up on the bottom pretty nicely. And I can go ahead and zip this closed. Make sure I got it. There it is. Look how cute that is. And I'm going to go ahead and put my AirPods in here. And show you where that bottom hole is. And I left this a little wider. See, if you can, I can now just charge it through the bottom. It's not exactly um, centered, but I don't care as long as I can get that uh, cord in there. And then I left this a little wider so that I can push from one side to the other because I also have these things that wrap around um, go in the edge of the iPod or AirPods, and I could just stick that right in there too, and it will always be with me. And I can zip this case right up. And again, I can still move my um, AirPods so that I can charge it through that hole. And there it is, my AirPods case. It is pretty cute and it was pretty simple. So maybe a half hour, 40 minute project. And I have this great swivel hook on here that I can hang in off of anything. So here they are, my little AirPods case. It was simple to do, it was fun to do. It was a little maneuvering, but I, I actually really like this. It's small enough that I can, Hook it on anything that has a D-ring or even onto another swivel hook, and I am ready to go. And then I can even charge them from inside this case. This is Judy from Fox City's Quilt Company, Sunday from the Sewing Room. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.